Hey, it's Heather Leg here again, and today is day 31 of my Success in 90 series. I can't believe it's the last day of January and the last day that I have committed to these daily videos. Um, I'll have some thoughts on that. I'll be sharing with you. Uh, I've got a bag packed and I'm getting ready to head out to do a bit of a spa afternoon with my mom. So definitely looking forward to that. And um, then I got a couple tasks to prepare for another busy week. And I, I don't know. So I thought today I would just sort of recap some of the highlights, um, the benefits of doing the Success in 90 series thus far. So 31 days in. So I have notes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I have my three core goals, which, as I've talked about, are, are uh, some do-over goals. I, I either hit them and didn't sustain the results, or I didn't quite hit them, or, you know, whatever. I'm still working to really be successful with these three core areas of um, awesome revenue. And so with that one, I have got my sales and marketing processes set. They're kind of, they, they've got some tweaking and they're set and so I've been I feel really good about building a nice strong foundation on which to grow uh, and accelerate that success so feeling good I mean it would have been nice to hit the revenue goal already in the 31 days but I didn't really I didn't really expect that I mean I, I can be a little bit of an eternal optimist and maybe there was a little piece of me going oh I'd be really kick-ass but I, I knew it wasn't realistic so I'm not disappointed um so to speak and then the second one or let's see was there something else on that one um oh i do have a plan for february uh regarding the excellence of client care so that's a component of that awesome revenue category basically just being as kick-ass in business as possible <laughs> with uh overall revenue being the main metric that's kind of what that's about and I started a possible projects list for Q2, and I think that's been helpful a lot because, you know, as a business owner, it's very easy to be thinking, oh, I need to do a better job with this, that, this other thing, this other thing. Oh, I, maybe I'm dropping the ball in this other area of business. Like, no, <laughs> the shiny object stuff, um, there's no room for shiny objects. So that's the beauty of the one quarter at a time. I have a list of stuff that I'll be reviewing for possible projects for Q2, Q3, maybe next year, like whatever. So I don't, I don't have the distractions of trying to figure out how to add it in right now. So then core goals two and three are, <laughs> two and three, are very um, tightly woven together. So I'm just gonna talk about those two together the um, restore energy and healthy body. So for me, in fact, all three of them are very much intertwined because what I've realized is sometimes I really feel like there's a big <laughs> conflict where we have like major competing priorities between totally kicking ass in business and being um, you know, obsessed with business results and passionately working and taking care of myself and working out and not eating well and not getting enough sleep and I you know sometimes I feel like I can't possibly do it all so I purposely picked these three goals these two seemingly competing two to three I guess it depends how you look at it seemingly competing priorities to force me to figure it out to find the creative solutions and the habits and routines that actually work and so I'm not gonna be perfect at it all the time but it's knowing when when they balance and when they intentionally are in imbalance and being able to be okay with that and, and be strategic with it. And I'm still evolving. I'm still figuring it out. But I am not even a little bit disappointed with my performance or the results. I feel like I've grown leaps and bounds in this 31 days, which is, I mean, who could ask for more? <laughs> Frankly, I'm pretty excited. So... Um, I think maybe some highlights there are the success with the clean program. I mean, I absolutely, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty proud of myself for doing really well. And I bought myself, um, a nice pair of <laughs> Lagos earrings from Bore Chimes. Thanks again, Adrian, for your help with that. 
for uh, my tw for 21 days of completing clean and to continue going with it. And I can't believe how much better I feel. I knew it. I knew I would because I had done it before, but I didn't stick with it. So I'm in this amazing position to where now I have the decision of sticking with it and introducing foods in slowly so that I don't lose the benefits of all this hard work and this this incredible state of being that I'm in currently. So my allergies and asthma symptoms are so much better. I mean, I'm still having some allergy issues because mold is one of my biggies and the mold, strangely, <laughs> is sky high here this time of year. And so, but that's okay. I'm, the fact that I'm not sick, I'm not, you know, struggling, I mean, I'm doing really quite well, is practically miraculous. So woohoo me. <laughs> um, mental clarity, uh, much better energy. I don't have, uh, I mean, I was really at a point of daily fatigue and I'm recovering so much more quickly from my workouts. It's phenomenal. I didn't even think about that being a benefit, but I really noticed looking back um, and thinking about what I've been experiencing. And I'm down a full size in skinny jeans, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> It really, it's really pretty kick-ass, so woo me, again. And um, in terms of restoring energy, some of the specific things that I had laid out as expectations were um, to have a nightly routine that included meditation, and I've done that every single night. So 100% with a clean program, 100% with the meditation nightly, 100% with several other tasks on my list that I work I was expecting daily and 100% with the daily videos is pretty fucking great. So thank you. <laughs> and speaking of the videos and thank you, I really have to say thank you. Seriously, thank you for watching. Anyone who's out there and has been watching any of these, and I know some of you have been watching um, most of them, and I do appreciate your comments and your feedback and for telling me that you're watching them because just that little bit extra. <laughs> some days or nights, knowing that I, I wasn't going to disappoint somebody else, therefore made it much easier for me to not disappoint me because I said I was going to do this every single day. And so the videos will continue because I feel like they have been a part of this success, part of, absolutely a part of my success so far. Um, I'm not, however, going to be obligated to daily, but I think at least weekly. So, um, right now, and I think, I think, to be fair, the value of squeaky tight specific goals and expectations for myself is something that I need going forward. So I have the specific plan with clean. I have, um, that I'm going to do at least a weekly video to stay accountable to myself through you. Thank you again. Um, and I have some other specific things that I've written down for February and then to tweak as needed for March to finish out the 90 days it is right now the perfect plan for me. And I think a huge, another highlight that I would be remiss if I left out is the, um, the growth that has come from the forced vulnerability of these videos and not always looking my best and just getting over the ego part and the piece of me saying, oh, but you don't have makeup on and you're an executive coach and what the hell, you shouldn't be doing videos that are available publicly where you're not looking like you're going to a business meeting or working with a client. And the reality is it's really easy to listen to that voice and to should all over myself, but I think the thing is, my advice to clients would be exactly what I've been saying to myself. And um, basically that is what other people think of me is none of my business. And even though I'm thanking you from the, the bottom of my heart, from my core, for watching these and helping me stay accountable to myself in this process, at the same time, I don't give a shit what you think because it's not about you. It's about me. It's about my growth. I do hope this inspires you. And I do, I do ache to serve in a big, big, big way. And maybe this is a little tiny part of how I inspire and motivate Moxie in others. Yes, 
this fuels me. But at the same time, I have to be my best, and this is about my journey to be the best I can be so that I can serve my clients. And I know that being passionate and obsessed with excellent clients for my or excellent results for my clients is really all that matters. Their experience is all that really matters. And how I look on my videos regarding my own personal growth really doesn't have anything to do with that. But it's been a hurdle for me. It's been a real mental hurdle about, oh no, I'm not perfect. I'm, I can't not look perfect on video and whatever. So here I am, not looking perfect, not sounding perfect, not having a script, rambling on. This video is getting way too long, and so <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up and go have my spa time with my mama. So <laughs> on that note, if you've stuck in here to the end, thank you again, and I really, really want you to let me know how you're doing on your goals so far this, uh, this first quarter of the year and how you're doing in general and if I can help you if you've been able to use some of the resources I've provided, uh, maybe if some of the tips or thoughts or my struggles <laughs> or the way I looked or sounded resonated with you, feel free to let me know and reach out. Be you. Be authentically you. Be unique. Have the courage to say and do what resonates with you and go kick some ass in business. Thanks for <laughs> being on this evolution with me. I do appreciate it.